Hello and welcome to the Tips and Knits podcast with Sia and Pip. We're an audio podcast based in Glasgow where we talk everything that is yarny, knitty and fabulous and sometimes we do tend to get a little bit tipsy along the way. Whether you are a new or returning listener, we are delighted to have you here with us and let's get on with the show. Hi guys, it's December. Which means it's Christmas. Yeah. So naturally we're celebrating by drinking a lot. Yep. And by drinking a lot, I mean we have booze, but also, well, first of all, we have chocolatey booze. Mm-hmm. And if that's not enough, we have boozy chocolate. Exciting. We do, we, when we celebrate, we celebrate with style. We do celebrate with style. With chocolate and alcohol. Yep. Also, I'm engaged. You're welcome. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, thank you. Had to drop celebration. There we go. That's what all the chocolate's for. Yes. <laughs> what do you want to start with? Do you want to start with the pink champagne because we're celebrating? Or do you want to start with the tequila thing because you look really reprehensive? I'm terrified of the tequila thing. Let's so start let's the tequila. Try thing. that one. Okay. So first off, we have passion fruit margarita chocolate. All of this is from Hotel Chocolat. They do not sponsor us. I just went a bit nuts yesterday. <laughs> also, I love Hotel Chocolat. I know, right? So yeah, this is passion fruit margarita. Uh, it's got passion fruit, tequila, and lime in it. Oh, I do want to say just before we go here that yeah. if there are any random like weird sounding edits and things there is a small baby I may have to edit out random cries or annoyances or noises so if there's anything that sounds a little bit janky I'm trying to cut out the baby noise while also having whatever we were saying still makes sense but also you can just flip and deal with the baby Mm. (laughs) true (laughs) anyway so chocolate number one cheers ding (laughs) This is why I wish it was video, because Pip's face right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You might want that water. Ooh, that really clears your sinuses. <laughs> oh my god. Forget the baby's noises, you need to leave these noises in. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's dying. <laughs> I feel like I'm breathing a fire. <laughs> oh. Uh. oh no, I'm better than that. Yeah. So that's got mousse in it, and it's very boozy mousse. Mm-hmm. I've never tasted tequila before, and I'm not sure that I ever want to again. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. I was on tech team for a bit when I was in the student union. Mm-hmm. So naturally we had to drink tequila. Of course. I can't stand the stuff, it's horrible. Law. To be honest, I don't know why anyone would drink tequila. Mm. But I also had to inflict that on you, so you're welcome. You can tell the story of that one. Yeah. About how Phil bought that for you guys yeah <laughs> yeah yeah phil bought these initially for us and we both tried them last night we're like oh no that's terrible <laughs> so you decided to inflate them on me <laughs> yep oh boy hey don't say i never give you anything i think if it just wasn't so Ooh, boozy tequila, yeah. it would be okay but oh yeah. wow <clears throat> no not my thing yeah that's fair not, not mine either we still have two left <laughs> <laughs> it's only you know, it's been a good while since you've had a reaction like that yeah, to anything that we've had on. So yeah. we've been well overdue. At, oh no! Mm-hmm. Right, do you want to go the pink champagne truffles? Yes, let's let's okay. get these out of. Right, these are pink that. champagne truffles. They are my favourite. They look like bonbons. They do, don't they? Mm. They're boozy bonbons. So I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> these also have a bit of a kick, but they're also the best things ever. Okay. Ready? Okay. Three, two, one, crunch. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 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 What's the verdict? <laughs> I like it. Oh, the booze is hit now. Mm. It takes like mm. about 20 seconds, then suddenly you're like, ooh. Oh my gosh, right. So speaking of like doing the like the uh, moment. Mm-hmm. So Phil and I, because it was our anniversary yesterday, and we got engaged, gotta drop that in there. Uh-huh. <laughs> we did our usual thing of going to the Christmas market mm-hmm. to drink terrible chemical mold cider. Mm-hmm. That's what we did on our first date. And we went to the one at at George Square Mm -hmm. and not only are they doing mulled cider stuff but they're also doing mulled gin Ooh! and I took one look at it and went oh no hot gin no Mm. darling no Mm -mm. Phil however was like hmm that seems like a reasonable idea let's try it (laughs) (laughs) regret oh so much regret (laughs) (laughs) I'm I'm down for mulling stuff like mulled wine sign me up mulled chemical tasting cider that is literally just sugary booze Sign me up. 
mulch in get in the bin <laughs> i don't know whose idea that was but it was terrible and i would never inflict that on you because i'm a good friend okay just just throwing that out there. <laughs> <laughs> i bet it was really expensive as well an expensive mistake nah it no. wasn't it wasn't too bad but it did come in a nice plastic tumbler then the mold cider and like the mold wine did okay so we were just like, how do we get this the hell away from us? This is horrendous. No. Our palates have matured. Yep. <laughs> Speaking of. So this that we are now drinking is a chocolat cream liqueur mm-hmm. from Hotel Chocolat. Uh, they apparently, and I quote, melted our chocolate into vodka and cream. Excellent. Ooh, this is from Ireland, Pip. Ooh. And apparently it is the World Liqueur Awards Best English Cream from Ireland <laughs> it looks like chocolate milk yeah it does you ready for that this? could be a costly mistake one morning <laughs> I know right <laughs> Merry Christmas that's delicious I was going to say that's a letdown oh well Merry Christmas to you my dear <laughs> <laughs> it, it's got it's got quite a lot of like sh- it's got vodka quite, yeah it's got a harsh kind of alcohol kick mm-hmm. to it but it is quite nice like the mm. chocolate it's basically like they put vodka in chocolate milk yeah oh god my dad did that to me once <laughs> I'm telling all the stories this episode yeah so I once made hot chocolate in our microwave at home mm-hmm. and you know I did the thing where like you put it in you're like oh it's two minutes I'll go off and do something else I came <laughs> back and it wasn't there my dad was behind me I was like oh here you go and gave me two I took one sip and I was like there's alcohol in this and he hadn't put rum in it. No, he put flipping vodka in it. And I'm like, why the heck have you done that? And he was like, oh, just to see if you recognise the taste of it. I'm preparing you for uni. And I'm like, you just ruined a perfectly good Cadbury's hot chocolate, mate. Raging. <laughs> yeah. And you've wasted some vodka. Although I must say I have to dispute perfectly good Cadbury's hot chocolate. What do you mean? We are not a Cadbury's hot, hot chocolate house in here. What the heck are you? Galaxy. Oh, no. Too sweet. Oh, no. Creamy and nice. Oh, no. <laughs> this oh, is no. the real this is the real like <laughs> battle it's like are you a Cadbury's or a galaxy hot chocolate you're kidding me we've been friends for like a decade now and i'm like i'm learning things and i'm not sure i like it <laughs> i also get sam to put an extra spoon of mix in before he makes it as well where do you stand on nesquik yeah yeah good good response good response yeah no i mean when i was little i was down with it but now i'm like yeah no. i'm like oh god no okay but yeah anyway tequila chocolate no no <laughs> oh that was a different no. <laughs> champagne chocolate yes yes <laughs> chocolate cream me yes <laughs> <laughs> you're getting there. the full gamut here today yeah, guys yeah. Uh, I think that might be yeah. the first booze that I've drunk on the podcast in a year oh god it will like, be literally Wednesday, yeah. because I knew I was pregnant this time yeah. last year Oh. with my totally see-through I'm on medication yeah. that I'm not allowed to drink on guys which to be fair was true was I true. was yeah, actually still on people me- messaging you being like, oh my god are you dying <laughs> yeah I was actually on medication I wasn't allowed to drink with it's just that wasn't actually the reason why I wasn't drinking <laughs> I was so sick that I actually so couldn't drink anyway so oh. but now yeah now you can make up for last time yeah that I, I like that chocolate liqueur. That's nice. Noted. I like it literally is just... It, there's no, like, flouncing about on here with descriptions of creamy chocolate. It just says, we melted our chocolate into vodka and cream because they know that's all you need. Oh, no, for a place like Hotel Chocolat, you'd be like, this is going to be fancy, and it's like, nah, mate, melted it, done. Aye. You guys don't need anything more. We know you'll drink it. <laughs> Probably. Unless you're dairy intolerant, in which case, well... Oh, what, should I just have soy in it? Is it dairy? I don't know. Contains milk, milk and, and soy. soya. Oh, well. Yeah. Oh, well, some of you can't drink it, but... Yeah. Those oh. of you that can, have at it. 100% recyclable packaging, though. That's nice. That is good to know. Yeah. So not only can you enjoy your alcohol safely, you can reduce, reuse, recycle afterwards. Yeah. Or I can use it as a prop in D&D for, like, a poison bottle or something. Oh, very nice, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Shall we okay. move on to what we've been knitting? <laughs> yes, we've spent 10 minutes chatting boots. <laughs> it's Christmas. We're giving you all extra content mm-hmm. somehow. Um, okay, usual content because we totally have the hang of this now. Pip, what is on your needles? Secret. The secret is on my okay. needles. You guys will find out later. Okay. A secret's also off my needles again. You'll find oh, out okay. later. Fair enough. I've got one of those boring things where even though my knitting mojo is back, 
I'm not allowed to talk about what I'm knitting. I don't know what you want our listeners to think at this point. Last year you're like, oh, I'm not drinking because of reasons. And now you're like, I can't tell you knitting because of reasons. You'll find out in the new year. She's having triplets, guys. God, no. (laughs) No, sorry. That was a joke. I am not pregnant again. I mean, I have just drunk alcohol, so. She's adopting a cat. (laughs) Aw, I'd love to have a cat or dog, but Mm. I have a baby, which means I have no time to do anything else. You could do what my dad always threatened to do with my brother, which is cover him in fur fabric. Mm, I mean, to be fair, dad did follow that up with and send him to kennels. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, That'll probably be cheaper than a babysitter. True. (laughs) We do not advocate child or animal cruelty on this podcast, just so we're clear. No. But, yeah, what are you... What have you been knitting? What have I been knitting? I'm also really boring. On my needles. Nothing. Cool. Off my needles. I have just cast off some Truly Mitts from Pom Pom Winter 2013. Is this, like, your fourth pair? Oh, God. Like, 11 gajillions at this point. It's just my go-to mitt pattern it's so easy and i learned how to do two at a time even though it's really fiddly and i like how long the cuffs are and basically i've got my rusty ferret pair which are amazing Mm -hmm. but i wanted a pair to match my coat Mm -hmm. which is rose gold Uh uh-huh and i happened to get that sock blank from mrs lamb yarns aka calic check ellen Mm -hmm. and it was the love sock blank where it was written on and it's really cool so when you're knitting with it like the way i've done it because i'd separated it into two balls one ha- one mitten starts with the pattern coming up the bottom mm-hmm. and then ends in like plain like yarn at the top and then the other one's the reverse that's cute which is really cute so i'm just like eh. that's and nice honestly knit up beautifully i loved seeing the way the sort of like speckling or patterning worked i don't mm-hmm. know how to describe it really and i knit them extra long mm-hmm. so i can fold them down at the top as well as at the bottom mm-hmm. so yeah 10 out of 10. Absolutely rate it. Beautiful yarn. So I think Ellen is maybe doing some more sock blanks with different words written on them. Ooh. I think. I don't know. But you should definitely check out for that. Yeah. And I reckon it would make beautiful socks as well. Oh yeah. Definitely. And then the other thing I've cast off is my mum's Christmas sweater. Exciting. It only took me two and a half weeks. Technically wow. I knit it in two weeks as planned. It's just that I had a three day break whilst I was down south last weekend visiting said gift recipient yes so so, so you couldn't knit it while yeah, you were in her presence <laughs> so yeah i did a cedar point sweater from espastri co mm-hmm. it's a free pattern uh melissa designed it it's this really cool sort of like not baggy sweater but like a loose fitting tunicky type sweater there's no like bust shaping or anything else it's pretty cool because it's fitted around the top mm-hmm. and then you do 11 to gajillion increases and you've got quite a nice loose fitting body and sleeves and mm-hmm. it's really really customizable and i did it in some drops charisma yarn in two different shades of gray nice because basically drops charisma washes really well and it fits in with my mum's lifestyle and i've used it before and i know it's you know decent to knit with mm-hmm. obviously drops are not necessarily great with their patterns Mm -hmm. and i know they've come under fire i think for ripping other designers off yes so obviously this does come with the caveat that i do not condone condone that that. but also my job contract's ending soon i needed some affordable yarn that i knew would wash well so Mm -hmm. i just went for the Mm go-to so and it's not like you went to them going i've seen this pattern on ravelry but i want the free ripped off version you bought yarn which is different yeah so but but, you know for listeners going forward obviously you know everyone makes their own informed choices i guess yes so yeah and yeah that's me i think i think yeah Mm. i think that's me cool it's been a pretty tame month this month Mm. i feel like we've not accomplished as much but at the same time we've not been on hiatus this episode like we had a lot to catch up with but anyway regular content spam so in terms of patterns i was gifted a azolda sweater by sokanjo which thank you very much it's lovely i will put it on my list of stuff to knit nice in terms of yarn i keep saying that i'm done buying yarn and then then you i buy yarn you've got the hiatus to make up for 
Yeah. And it brings you joy. Um, so we went up to Ferretfest in Dundee, which mm-hmm. was the 9th of November, I think. Um, I think it was the 9th of November. 9th or 10th or something, I think. Um, because the absolutely wonderful Leona decided to close Fluff Shop and um, continue on just with Rusty Ferret. So Ferret Fest was essentially like the last hurrah of the Aww. shop. She got it up and make it. And we went up for the afternoon mm-hmm. and Mr. J was very good the whole way. Mm-hmm. Very, very good. And lots of people were very happy to see him. And we saw some absolutely lovely people and I bought some yarn. Mm-hmm. So I bought a skein of a Rusty Ferret doll in the static colorway, Ooh, but nice. it's a much more dark version of static. Mm-hmm. So it's almost black. Ooh. And then I bought a skein of yarn from the Knitting Goddess. It's Brit Sock in the Golden Rainbow colorway, and mm-hmm. they're going to go together for a pattern mm-hmm. that doesn't exist yet. Okay. And then yesterday, which was the 7th of December, was the Pixel Atlantis trunk show at a local yarn shop. So I went down and said hello to the absolutely wonderful Rosie, mm-hmm. and I bought some yarn. So I bought some of her squishy four ply in vintage Christmas lights. I bought one of her squishy stripy sock skeins, which is Mm -hmm. a 50 gram skein in the Ghost of Christmas Present. Her self striping yarn is beautiful. You got it there? I do. And she had um, little samples in it. Oh Oh. my gosh, guys. That is squishy. And I have small feet, so I can get a full pair of socks out of 50 grams of yarn. I like her tags. Like, she's saying, like, for the first few washes, add citric acid or vinegar to prevent any potential bleeding. Mm-hmm. I think that's a really good thing for hand dyes to put on, actually, because, like, particularly if you've got really vibrant colours, that's really good, like, care advice. Yeah. But it's just, hey, it's stop. Take it away beautiful. From me. Take it away from me. It's, like, green, mm-hmm. yellow, purple, pink, and it is just lush guys it's hip tonight <laughs> yes um and then i got two mini skeins from rosie mm-hmm. so one of them is in the cranberry colorway and one of them is in the hummingbird colorway because as always happens mm-hmm. with scraps mm-hmm. you're like i'm never gonna use these so you give them away mm-hmm. and then you get some more scraps and you're like okay oh i have an idea so then you do the idea and then you realise you don't have enough scraps. So, many skeins. Is this that ginormous ball that's like the size of... Yeah, nearly head. my head. <laughs> yeah. Certainly Jay's head. Yeah, it's big. I think it's bigger than his head at this point. But, yeah, I have also asked Sam for mini skeins in my stocking and things for Christmas. Oh, nice. Because I'm just not getting through projects quick yeah. enough to generate the scraps anymore because, you know, baby. Mm-hmm. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention, while I was up at Fluff Shop, I did buy myself one of Leona's absolutely mental faux fur project bags. Oh, it looks amazing. I love it's it. It's amazing. It looks like a tribble with teeth. <laughs> yeah, it's, it is neon. And, and it is fuzzy and amazing. A neon rainbow and like it's like two inch long. It's fur. so 90s. I love it. It is glorious. So yeah, I bought Even some yarn. Busy. Mm-hmm. I'm going to in in the new year. Mm-hmm. I think I am genuinely going to try and knit mostly from stash. Okay. I'm going to try and really pare down. It was funny. I was talking to Rosie and she was saying yeah. like the same as me. I was so good at Edinburgh. Mm-hmm. I on, you know I only asked you guys to buy me one skein at Perth. Like I was so good, and then suddenly I'm just like, oh, I don't have a job anymore. Yarn 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 yarn. <laughs> <laughs> Not good when you don't have any income coming in and you need to stretch it to make it last as long as possible. But, do you know what? No regrets. Um, but I think in the new year I'm really going to try and pair that back. Um, hopefully I'll get some for Christmas. Fair. But, yeah, mm-hmm. that's my spam. What about you, Sia? Me? I've not been as exciting. Yarn-wise, my December skein of the Nitical Roll Club from Chromatic Yarns came through. Mm. It's a uh, Winter's Crest Festival. Mm-hmm. And it is colours. It is some colours, or maybe one colour. It's pretty colours. It is, but it's spoilers, so I can't tell you anything. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell you that I like it. 
uh, that I don't know what I'm going to do with it, as happens when I tend to buy club yarn, but mm-hmm. also Hannah's yarn's amazing and it's BFL, so it works for anything. BFL is like the goat of fibres. Not goat as in bad, <laughs> but goat as in greatest of all time. Oh, okay. Get you with the like, acronyms. I feel really old and uncool now. I'm like, goat what? <laughs> You're saying it eats everything and scales mountains? What are we talking about? <laughs> I mean, BFLs might do that. <laughs> yeah. uh, so I got that. And then pattern wise, I got the Shadow Maze Shawl by Jen Peck. Ooh. I've been following Webster Street Knittery on Instagram for a couple of months now. Mm-hmm. And her designs are beautiful. Mm-hmm. And I've been watching her designing this beautiful mosaic shawl mm-hmm. all summer and kind of going, I want to knit the hell out of that. I'm waiting for the pattern. Yeah. Like, I think she did tests and stuff, but I've not been in a position to test for anybody, so I've not really Mm -hmm. offered to do that for people or anything like that, but I was like, I'm keeping an eye on this, and as soon as it's out, I'm buying it. And, oh my god, it's beautiful. She's just done three colours, and it's mosaic, and I've not done mosaic yet, Mm -hmm. so it's a new technique, but... Oh, it just looks so pretty. Yeah, you have done mosaic. I know you've done mosaic. Tesserae. Oh, is that mosaic? That's mosaic. So it's the same technique. So, <laughs> so you're only ever knitting in one color, yeah. but then you're using slip stitches to oh, make a design. Okay. Right. It's, oh, well, I love mosaic knitting. It's like color work without the effort. True. Oh well, apparently I've already mastered that. I'm amazing. <laughs> Great. Love it. Uh, I'm gonna have a ball with this shawl then. But yeah, it looks super cool. And again, this is me with another random tangent. But when I went down to see my parents last weekend. Mum was like, oh, I've got something to tell you. And I'm really, really sorry about this. And I'm thinking, oh my God, she's ruined the sweater that I made her last Christmas. <laughs> no. Some horrible, horrible person stole a shawl that I made for her. Yeah. So now I've got, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to replace it and she can have a nice mosaic shawl. Also, not just any shawl. It was that blo- I'm sorry, I'm going to say, it was that bloody three cliffs shawl that I spent months making. Yeah. You literally <laughs> spent months and months. months Every it. time we <laughs> recorded, you were like, like, I'm still yeah. working on it. Because that's why my wrists were super bad. Mm. And I got that beautiful La Bien Aimé... Mm-hmm. Uh, merino singles yarn and in the end I was like you know what I'm not actually going to wear this after all this hassle but I know my mum well so I gave it to mum and she loved it she wore it a lot more than I expected to actually because I kind of thought she'd be like oh yeah it's really nice it's bright but I'm not going to wear it all the time no she got a lot of wear out of it mm-hmm. and I'm really pissed Yeah. and she thought I was going to be mad at her and I'm like I'm not mad at you I'm really pissed at whatever little hell beast nicked it yeah because it's so uncool it is uncool and It just really, really pisses me off because, like, you know, you go to festivals and, you know, it's great, but every now and again you get vendors being like, someone stole my samples or someone stole a couple of skeins from behind the stall or whatever and you're just kind of like, why? Ugh. And... uh, You don't steal shit. You don't steal. You know, you just don't. No. And... Yeah. I really hope that your mum... Like that they wear it out one day and your mum sees them wearing it. Yeah. And then she can be like, ah. That's mine. But I mean It's just not cool. Yeah, and I mean, obviously coming at it from a different angle then, you know, a someone who has lost a product. Mm-hmm. It's just the sentimentality of it. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Um, you know, there is part of it that's kind of like you've taken around about a hundred quids worth of yarn to say the least, never mind the hours that went into it. Yes. <laughs> So, as far as I'm concerned, tiny curses upon that person. I hope that their favourite shampoo goes out of stock. And I hope that, I don't know, someone changes the formula in their washing powder. And that they step on Lego. And that they step on Lego. I hope they step on a plug. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just really angry. Like, yeah. well, no, I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. Oh, that's worse. Yeah, I know. (laughs) So, yeah. So basically, long story short, this shawl is probably going to replace that for mum. Yeah. But yeah. So angry. So disappointed. (laughs) Thieves be gone. Yep. Hi guys, so it's just Pip here. Previous recording did get interrupted by small baby, as is want when you have a small baby. And we didn't have time to finish the recording. And unfortunately, we're not actually going to have a chance to finish the recording before the new year. So we thought I'd just jump on quickly and uh, basically round up what is essentially a little mini episode. It's December. It's cold. 
It's rainy. Might be snowing where you are if you're lucky. And uh, we have just had a pretty big political upheaval in the UK, which has happened after we had recorded the first part of this episode. So we just thought I'd pop in and say that we love you guys. We're thinking of you. We hope that you enjoy your Christmas and into the new year. 2020 does have a lot of things to look forward to and just wanted to remind you guys to just love the people that you love, you know, keep in touch with people and if there's anyone you know out there that might not have someone to spend Christmas with, just, you know, let them know you're thinking of them. And uh, we just hope you all have a really nice, cosy Christmas the way you want to have Christmas. And let's go into 2020 with love. So I hope you tune back in in 2020. We've got lots of exciting things to go on. We'll just bump whatever we had planned for this episode into the next one. And next year, the podcast turns five, which is super exciting. So again, we wish you guys a festive season full of love and see you in 2020. Bye. Thank you for listening to the Tipsy Knits podcast. You can find the show notes at tipsynits.com. You can find us on social media, on Twitter and Instagram as at Tipsy Knits. And you can find us on iTunes, Spotify and YouTube as the Tipsy Knits podcast. And if you'd like to, we do have a coffee page and you can find us at coffee.com forward slash tipsy podcast. <laughs>